Hey everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to the channel and the Little Mermaid trailer was released over the weekend and it is absolutely getting demolished by people. And why is that? Well, because of obvious reasons, the constant tokenization that Disney continues to push in all of their movies, especially anything live action. Any character that was usually white is being transitioned into someone probably of what they call a POC or black person. I have no problem with diversity, I have no problem with ethnic characters of any kind, but the issue I have is race swapping. Race swapping to me, no matter what character, whether you're going from white to black, black to white, Hispanic to white, whatever the case, is wrong, and it should not happen. If the character and the source material was a specific race, gender, ethnicity, whatever the case, just keep it the way it is. But Disney will never stop doing this, and this isn't because they really care about diversity, at least in my opinion. The point of this is that they are too lazy to create original stories. They are too lazy to look up actual stories or folklore that have people of color in there and push those out and maybe teach new stories. They don't want to do that. They don't have the time. They don't have the effort. What they would rather do is kind of throw crumbs to black people and say, here, we don't really care about your culture enough to look into it to create new stories. We're just going to give you these old white stories and throw in a black actor and they'll keep you happy. That's essentially what it is. It's very embarrassing and it's very insulting, at least in my opinion. But what do I know? Um, but the trailer here is absolutely getting destroyed. So much that this has 9.5 million views, and right now it's sitting at 1.2 million downvotes. That's not good at all. And if you look at the comments, people are absolutely destroying this constantly. When Ariel said, do you know why a ship floats and a rock sinks? It had me taken by such talent. What a beautiful film this will be. And it's constant just trolling of comments. Now, of course, a lot of people are going to sit there and cry, racism. It's just racist trolls. And no, like I said, most people, most people that I know of do not want this type of hand-me-down secondary garbage, right? Princess and the Frog. That's a great story. That was a fantastic original story that had to do with a black cast. I love that story. Great film. I love the cartoon work. Why wouldn't they make that be like one of the first things they created that would be live action? Why? I think it would do really well. But of course, they don't want to do that, which surprise. I mean, eventually they will. But why take these original stories that are predominantly white or redheaded characters and turn them into a black character. I just don't get it. Again, it's tokenization. It's basically like, hey, here's my hand-me-downs and here's my garbage. And here's one Twitter user online that I didn't really understand. And here's what they said. A black Cinderella, a black Bella on Broadway, a black Cinderella on Broadway, and now a black Ariel. The black girls are truly winning. And listen, I have to disagree with this. I don't think this is winning. I think this is really just kind of embarrassing and disrespectful. It's like, hey, your culture is not prominent enough to get its own stories. And we're too lazy to create new ones and look into anything. So what we're going to do is just take the original existing ones because it's the easiest way and quickest dollar we can get, change it, race swap it out so that it looks like we're actually giving two shits about diversity and we want your money. And there's a lot of people that actually agree with this based in her comments. By being tokenized, why didn't Disney give them real black women to play? Really very sad. With all the amazing stories from Africa yet not, not yet told, you're celebrating old recyclable characters. And if you actually look, there's a lot of folklore that comes out of Africa and South Africa, and whatever the case may be, that have black characters. Not even just out of South Africa, or Africa for that matter, but all over the world. There's tons of folklore stories that they could create and make new ones and bring awareness. They don't want to do that. And that's why I know a lot of people are going to watch this video and they're going to call me an ist because that's what they do in the channel, like the trolls on there or whatever the case. But there's a lot of people that agree. Look, I have, again, no problem with diversity or black characters. I didn't want to see Bane. I use this example all the time. I didn't want to see Bane played by Tom Hardy. He's a Hispanic character. He should have been played by a Hispanic actor. Should not have been Tom Hardy. I hated that. It was terrible. I don't want it done either way. I don't want to just preserve white characters. I don't want black characters played by white people. That's not how it should be. It should be how the source material had it. Stay that route. But nope, 
They can't do that. This is a quick buck for them, and all they want is those quick diversity dollars so that they can appease the audience and make it look like they're virtue signaling that they actually care, when in reality, they really don't care. If they really cared about this stuff, why is it that they always put the black princess with a white prince? Why wouldn't they just make kind of everybody black? Just do the whole thing. Now, again, I have no problem with interracial relationships, but it's just very odd to me. Or why don't you ever have like a white princess with a black prince? Very strange. No, they are losing because instead of showcasing them in well-written stories with original characters, they have them rely on popularity of established white characters. This is not winning. This is aiding the racism. Really, really, really just disrespectful, in my opinion, that this is what people find as a success story when it comes to diversity because it's really not. There are so many good stories out there that they could create new ones about, or like I said, existing folklore that they can look into that highlight and have black characters already, but they don't want to concentrate on that. They just don't. And that's the sad part. That's what really sucks is that I could see through their garbage. There's a lot of people out there who don't see through their garbage and think that this is winning, and it's really not. It's just really the same old recycled trash over and over again. But let me know what you think in the below in the comments. It's good to see some people waking up, but there's still a lot of people out there that are still asleep and think this is good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I always love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time.